Hello there, you chill blind people. So as you may or may not can tell right about uh, my thermometer over here, it's a bone warming 84 degrees out in South Texas. And I just found out when I was digging a hole for my raised bed, I have a quite a big problem because yeah, I got a pipe in my hole. So let's go check it out. So, I think it's coming from, I think it's one of these, it's going diagonally right where I was going to put my raised bed, but that's okay because I want to get some linseed oil anyway and I want to paint everything before I set it in the dirt anyway, but anyway, this is my raised bed. I just had to lift it up out of the holes these uh, hole the the legs are going to go in I'm going to again I'm going to paint all the wood with linseed oil but you know there was no pipe in that one no pipe in this one and then uh oh I get over here and I'm digging and I and I'm hitting something and I'm thinking is there a rock but then I'm like wait a minute it can't be a rock that big um if you can see that because um, it still pretty much covers the whole hole. Can you imagine, of all places, it has to be right where I was gonna put this. So I'm gonna have to move it down a few feet, which isn't really a problem anyway, but look, listen. It's, um, you can hear, you when I hit it with this, you can hear that it's hollow. So, and it looks kind of a, like a white color. There's no way that's a rock. Because when you look over here, you got that. So I imagine it's my, I don't know, sewer clean out that goes back this way for some reason. It doesn't go out to the street. There's probably two of them. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do with this raised bed again, I'm just going to go ahead and spray off the mud and everything. And get some linseed oil, coat it to protect it. And then I'm just going to have to move it down a few feet. And I'm going to change all this out. So that's a big job for me today. Um, I probably have to go to Home Depot and get some linseed oil sooner or later, but yeah, that's going to be my raised bed slash hugel culture bed, which means a lot of branches, animal products, things like that will go into that one. Um, it's going to take time to build it up. It's huge. As you can see how big that is, but all my stuff got from the trees, grass clippings, birds possibly, if I could get a, a, a sparrow trap because these hosps, which are house sparrows, are murderous to the beautiful blue jays and woodpeckers that we have, um, indigenous, indigenous species, let's just call them they are murderous uh, creatures. I never knew how aggressive and murderous they, these things were until I did some research. Look it up yourself. They they go after the bluebird eggs and they uh, kill them and eat them and take over their nests. It's their, these house sparrows are horrible creatures. These are the ones you see at McDonald's, you know, eating the salty, greasy french fries and nothing seems to kill these birds. You just have to trap them and you, if they're tiny enough, you can make house pets out of them because they're aggressive and they're, they're not the smartest bird. They're not going to talk to you and, and they chirp all day long. That's basically all they do. And they shit on everything. I have bird shit everywhere, so I had to stop feeding them. Plus, I noticed when I was feeding them, not only did I have bird shit everywhere, but it was scaring away the woodpeckers and the blue jays. So, yeah, go figure. Okay, well, that was just a... A short tour. Um, if you'd like to see more of me and to see what's under the skirt, nothing, hint, hint, join my OnlyFans. See you there. Take care.